A little more than 4,000 cars are stolen in Colorado every month. Incredible. And if that doesn't shock you, Colorado also is on pace to reach a record high for auto thefts this year. As Denver 7 CB Cotton found out, some vehicle manufacturers are now stepping in to try and curb that trend. The easiest way that they were able to start my car at this point is with a flathead screwdriver. You heard that right. A screwdriver is all Sharice Ryan needs to start her Hyundai Sonata. This comes after a thief was captured on surveillance, stealing the car from in front of her Broomfield home in early August. I suspected that I was part of the TikTok trend. The viral challenge using the hashtag Kia challenge or Kia boys shows videos of people removing steering columns from certain Kia models and then using USB cables to start the ignition. Certain Hyundais have also been targeted. Kias and Hyundai e-launchers are being stolen. Ryan says the condition her car was found in 10 days later <laughs> confirms her suspicions. I bought it brand new. I paid it off last year and then somebody took advantage of my car and destroyed it. She's not the only one who's had their car taken advantage of. The rash of Hyundai thefts prompting the manufacturer to release a security kit this month that can be purchased and installed at dealerships. And Kia telling Denver 7 it's providing steering locks to law enforcement for free. A little late for me, you know. I'm Colorado's industry experts are urging other Kia and Hyundai owners to act now. These cars, if, if without the fix, will always be suspect for uh, vehicle theft. Ryan says these photos were taken after her car was recovered by Lakewood police. In them, power tools, trash, and even a meth pipe. Now my car is destroyed and I don't have something to drive. CB Cotton, Denver 7. All right, so what does this mean if you are a Kia or Hyundai owner in Colorado? Well, for one, it means your insurance rates could go up. Today I chatted with Carol Walker, who's the executive director of the Rocky Mountain Insurance Association, and she told me it's not just higher rates you have to worry about. And different from canceling insurance is if you own one of these vehicles, the insurance company is looking upon renewal or purchase of these vehicles. Certain companies are saying we can't insure them. We can't price it so high that we could not pass that on to other customers. So there are some companies that aren't insuring these vehicles, but there's a lot of insurance companies out there, even higher risk insurers, but likely you're going to pay the premium for that. So she says you should do whatever you can to keep your car from getting stolen. Park in a garage, lock your doors, don't leave valuables inside. And for the rest of us, she also says before you buy a car, you should research rates on that model first. Make sure the car you're looking to buy isn't at the top of the list of easy ones to steal.